So, hello, my name is Kalle, I'm from Kalle Rock, and we are here in the backstage area from the Huxley's Berlin, and I'm sitting here with... Pontus Norgren. From, from Hammerfall, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hammerfall from Sweden, and now you're in Berlin, you're on tour now with your own, um, actually, album Infected. I talked with Joachim in uh, Finland this year about the album, about something other things, and uh, about the reviews he got um, from the album, about the album. Uh, since it was not out before, but it was uh, out for the press guys. Yeah. So, um, what are the reports and uh, reviews now, after a couple of months? I, I have to say, when it comes to re reviewing for the album, it's been I've, I've been <coughs> amazed. And, and the thing is, bec because we shaped this album in a different way, comparing to the older albums, and we, the recording proce <coughs> procedures and everything was very different. Yeah, I think the outcome has been very, very positive. You know, from uh, from uh, everything from radios to uh, newspapers and uh, on, uh, on the web, it's been good. And some doesn't like the changes as always. Mm -hmm. But uh, if if you don't change, if you go do the same stuff all the time, you get bored, and then you disappear. You have to keep updated what whatever happens and. I, I'm, I'm happy with all the reviews I've seen, and I think they're very honest also. Mm. You know, the people that maybe don't like the way we, we redid the album, but they, they explain it in, oh, oh, always in the end, like, um, yeah, um, this is maybe just me because I'm, I'm used to the old stuff. <laughs> and that's honest, I, I like that. So you're satisfied with the reviews you got from the press? Oh yeah, very satisfied. And what are the fans talking about? And do you read some forums or websites? Yes, I, I read forums and people that don't like that Hector wasn't on the album cover and stuff like that. And I, I see, I, I can understand that. It's the same if you take stuff away from, you know, a brand, so to speak. Mm. It's always like, wow, why did they do that? Why did they change? But it has to change. But the time has, Hector is not gone. He's, he's a part of us, but he needed vacation. <laughs> yeah, we have to say that Hector is a cover figure of Hammerfall, so maybe some people don't know who Hector is. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'll talk about uh, Hector, who's designed it and uh, everything. It was uh, Joachim on the other interview. You can hear it on the website. So now you're back on tour. In the middle of tour, what, you say, what would you say? Um, what are your impressions about uh, now? I have, to, I, I have to say... That, that Everything, every audience we met around now until until now, it's been, you know, both back home in Sweden and, and it's been amazing. I have to say, you know, the the new songs, you know, come in perfect in the set. And normally bands don't play that many new songs in a set, for example. But we have five in in the set, and um, I, I, I'm, oh, I haven't heard any bad bad things about it at all. So. And it feels really, really good. Do you have some location you would prefer? Would you say, I would go back to this location and this uh, hall or club? <laughs> oh, it's so hard. It's, I, mean, I, I like this club, for example, the Huxley's. I love it because it's a great venue, a lot of space. Uh, of course, it's, it's good playing in Sweden, for example, because it's b b real big venues. And, but, but still... It's so many different favorites. It's they're everywhere. <laughs> Do you have a secret uh, location? Would you say, okay, that's not so nameless, but uh, um, hmm. I I actually like Tilburg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I think it's because the catering and you know everything, all the surroundings and the town, everything is close. Everything is quite easy to get around, but. Uh, 
It's so many. I like uh, Turbinehalle and I like uh, yeah, Berlin. I love Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> you get the money beta, okay. And the catering is amazing. <laughs> yeah. So the, is it really right, uh, right that uh, catering is really important for the band? It's very important because the thing is we stay on the bus all the time and when we get somewhere, the, the only thing that we, you know, you have to have is food. Otherwise, you, you know, get tired, you... You know, you don't perform well, mm. but if you're taken care of when it comes to the mm. catering style, it's it's very very important. And I have to say, Berlin is very good at it. So we got many good cooks here. That's really good. And what is the secret when you live for the whole tour in a, in a bus? Is there a special feeling in a bus that you say, okay, no uh, angry uh, feelings, so all are happy, or what happened in a bus? Uh, I, th I think after many years touring, you know, the, the thing is, that there's certain rules on the bus that you have to follow, and and when you're up around the bed areas, bed areas, you always, you know, talk with a low tone. You don't scream and shout and stuff like that, because people can sleep wherever. In you don't know if someone is resting or whatever. But otherwise, it's just clean after yourself if you do something. And, uh, you know, don't stay up all night just shouting because people want to sleep and stuff. Yeah. And I, I think, you know, some people have a hard time to adapt to it. But I think in our bus it works perfectly. So, so what is the special secret that you say, okay, we're all happy, we're all, f we all feeling about the tour, we're all happy to play and we are traveling around with a band and is there a special secret that it's so happy in your bus? The thing is, I normally talk to a lot of friends that are not in, in the business at all and uh, I would love to just take them from their work situation and put them on a bus mm. for six weeks. I don't think they would would come back alive. Mm. They would kill each other because <laughs> you, you, have, you have to be, you know, You have to be meant for it, sort of. Mm. So, no, I, th I think to tour bus, it's, th that's our home also. That's my bed, that's my pillow, that's, you know, my coffee machine and everything. And I want it to be, you know, in nice condition so it doesn't, you know, if someone fucks it up, then if someone fucks up anywhere in the venue, bus, whatever, you, you can say, it was me, sorry, I, re I, I fix it, no problem. But th that's normally what creates problems if someone destroys something and yeah. just hiding and, and, and then it's like, what the fuck, who fucking did it? So <laughs> I think, you know, on, honesty and you, you have to overcome that very personal issues that you can have about how people acting and people are. That, that, that's how it is on tour. You, 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 you adapt a little bit and you can be a little bit more loose and yeah. so... Oh. So would you take a fan with you on the bus for the tour? Would you say, okay, you can win a tour, the whole tour with Hammerfall? I think e even even if, uh, of course, that would be great. But but the thing is, the rhythm you have, you know, with uh, sleeping rhythm and everything, mm. it's so different, and it's it's very hard to come out and you know hang out. If, for example, bring a fan on the bus. I know when family members comes on the bus, normally they say after four days, never ever again. Because yeah. they just waiting, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm busy, this interviews and it's sound checks and eat and then we have to go and get that. And we, I, we have to do stuff because we're working all the time. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think that a lot of people out there don't, don't understand how craving it is to be on tour. And you tired all the time and the thing is the bus is moving your bed is moving mm -hmm. constantly and if you don't get the rest on the bus then, then you know the attitude can start to change in a bus for example but I think um, I had a friend on the bus that said never ever again after four days <laughs> this is it yeah. So do you have uh, time? You said you are really busy and on a concert, on a tour. So do you have time to see something from the city you are in? Sometimes, Depend depending on, like today, I just went across the street here to an electronic store. That was about it. <laughs> okay. And then we went into another department store next door here and 
got some lamps and stuff. But normally you don't have the time to see the city. We came in late today, for example. Yeah. And when you come in late, the crew is stressed and they want to, you know, get done so we can do the sound check and keep this time schedule and everything. And but I think not not often on a day off if if you're lucky and you have got good rest and stuff before otherwise you're very tired yes so um, when you are going to a town and have a day off do you use a um, sightseeing bus or do you go around by feet or do you take a bicycle or what <laughs> <laughs> no I, I think you know walking around is the best thing to you know to see stuff of course if it's subway buses and stuff that helps you if it's a big city mm. but um, I, I, I think just walking around that that I, I like it just walking around and just see whatever you know it's churches whatever just sites gr great sites mm. but we as I said we came in late today and th then you don't have that time because you have all the certain periods yeah. you have to do sound check and it's food and then food disappears and you miss that and then oh I mean when you have a day off maybe it's sometimes And you can look at around on a tour, and you know. And um, I mean um, that you go on a sightseeing tour. Do you go alone, or do you go with the whole band and the crew? It, it depends. Some people on a day off, you know. Some people just want to sleep because they're tired. But uh, normally we we go out a bunch of guys. It, for example, last year on the tour in in the U.S., we went out the whole band for a whole day, and it ended up in a restaurant, and we had food, and we. It was, you know, a, a really, good, a really good day, and we went f for a movie during the day, and it was like we were hanging out the whole band. Mm -hmm. But then, th that was, well, we we had good sleep and everything was good. Otherwise, you know, maybe, maybe me and Joe came goes out on town and wow. looking for whatever, and then when we come back, the other guys come in. Oh, we're going out on town now. So, <laughs> but it depends if 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 we're in good town and we know the. Uh, um, places like restaurants and stuff of mm. course we maybe plan like we go to the restaurant at that time yeah. the favorite <laughs> steakhouse or whatever okay. <laughs> so do you prefer the normal sites on the city or do you think uh, say okay I look, want Woodland to look <laughs> so you want to look yeah you want to look uh, behind the scene behind the city not the typical tourist uh, places yeah I, I, I think that, that that's the whole the whole idea when, when you have a day off you, of course <laughs> If you're in Rome or if you're in Paris, of course you see the tower in Paris and you, in the dome in Rome and stuff like that, of course. But anyway, I think it's more or less like walking around in the small alleys, seeing stuff, you know, see reality in the town you come to, mm. how they live and how they, you know, it's great. Maybe go, go outside town a bit. Mm. That happens, but rarely, it's not often. <laughs> well, sometimes the location is outside the town and you have to travel a long time yeah. from the hotel maybe sometimes. Yeah, very, very often we end up in in an industrial area on a on a parking lot somewhere. So it, it's about 20 minutes to the city center and stuff. And then it's like, then you check out the local surroundings and see what you find there. And depending on if you don't want to spend a lot of money going in by taxi and stuff. But... So, which city we would recommend for a holiday or for a short trip? In Europe? The whole world. I mean, you, you've been in the whole country, in so many countries. Uh, then I have to say my favorite... Uh, the country, I have to say Argentina. I loved Argentina a lot. Because of the stakes? Yes, and uh, because of the country, you know, and I like the like the century. Okay, now we were in different towns and stuff, but I like that country. It was a good vibe there. I've never been there, so what is uh, the feeling in the, in the country when you are there? I have to say, Argentina is more or less a very European type country. Yeah, it okay. is. Not on the countryside, of course, cause, but, but it feels a little bit like home because I felt both Chile and Argent Argentina is, is very nice. Mm. You know, and visit as a tourist, of course, go there. Okay. You're going to love it. So um, I think the crowd is different between Europe and Argentina, I think. Uh, oh, yeah. So what, what are the typical crowd there? So they're screaming the whole concert, not standing with a beer and drinking? 
they are crazy motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they, they rock out 100% all through the show, mm. every night. You know, it's, it's very, very different to the European audience. And I have to say, depending on where, where you come, a, lo a lot of Americans think, you know, like Wacken and Bang Your Head Festival, that they're amazing festivals. But if you come to countries in South America it's so different they're so loud and they're so into it mm. and it's crazy that you all know the songs from Hammerfall I think all other bands I mean the German band goes there and plays German songs and they don't know the language really good but they sing the whole song that's really crazy there's so many videos that's amazing it's fucking crazy so um, but there are a lot of people over there also Okay. <laughs> so how many con how many people on a concert normally? Fifteen thousand, ten, fifteen thousand. Okay. So not so many like. Uh, Depending on where you are, of course, yeah. it's different. Different in Brazil, it's different to Mexico, different yeah. to. So of course, it's the same as in Europe, but um, but it, they're loud. Mm. They're really loud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you need some earpicks on a stage. Yes. <laughs> so when you have a day off, um, do you sleep also in a nightliner on tour or do you sleep in a hotel van? It, it depends. It, sometimes we stay in the bus and we have like a shower room. And, uh, but of course we have hotels. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. <coughs> um, a hotel, like uh, we had a day off in Warsaw day before yesterday. Mm -hmm. And we've been out for three weeks and we said, yeah, let's have a room, you know, so you can shower and take it easy and, you know, just watch TV. And we stayed in all day. Mm. And then we, it ended up that we went out like midnight and stayed out till 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> so that was, that was fun. <laughs> so what is a crazy hotel story? Do you ever uh, destroy a hotel room or something like that? Like a course, we're rockers. <laughs> we destroy rooms. Yeah, a story. I, we, I was actually uh, on the last tour two years ago in Vienna. I wasn't involved, trust me. But um, when we woke up the day after, after a day off, uh, I came down to the lobby and there was some guys in the band sitting there and he was showing, Andres was showing pictures. Look what happened yesterday. <laughs> but the fun thing is no one was angry, not even the ho hotel owner. He was quite happy because he... That, that became a, that we promoted his hotel. Yeah, of course. So we destroyed it. We paid for it. But we just, they destroyed the room together with the crew and stuff. And yeah, I was, why not? <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's. Okay. <laughs> the Batman. And it's Johansson, the famous drummer. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're in other cities, do you try to learn the language? From the other countries, or did you say, okay, I can Swedish, I can, uh, yeah, English, uh, that's enough? I think some of the guys in the band, came, Anders is very good speaking German, for example, and Oscar can speak French quite quite a lot, and I haven't been that I haven't been that good in languages, but um, uh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have to say we are here in a, a place where all people go to the stage or to the backstage area so it's a little bit loud so but don't worry it's a record it's a rock concert so it should be a little bit loud yeah. everywhere yeah i miss the music here <laughs> <laughs> no but um where were we no i missed out where we were we are on the languages yes yeah but I, i've never been so much into languages and uh, i understand german very very well. I'm married to an Austrian. Oh. So um, I know German, but I can't speak. I'm too chicken. <laughs> maybe. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not good. I'm too scared to, you know, m maybe if I would be forced to, I would make it, but... But Swedish is, uh, Swedish is uh, um, next to German. It's uh, like something the same. Yeah, I know. It's, it's the same. It's, it's just all the grammatics and stuff, you know, and you want to you wanna do it right. Mm. That's, that's me. I want to do it right. That way I yeah. don't just... Uh, no, I, I was maybe, maybe I, I say scheiße sometimes, but... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I was in Finland this year, and um, there we go. We can talk Finnish, English, or Swedish. And um, 
in Finland it is it's really cool that uh, all languages uh, are there. You can read on a street name, you can see Finnish and a Swedish name. A Swedish. I, oh, I would just say Swedish, I don't know. It's Swedish. <laughs> so um, you can see both. So sometimes you know in Swedish and you can translate it in German. Yeah. So that's really good when you don't understand the Finnish words. That's really cool. But why don't you try it to learn in German? When, when I have time. So never. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, next question, let me t should look on my paper here. Um, yeah, um, if you can choose, that's a good question from a user I've got. Um, if you can choose, then um, which country you want to live there? Oh, that's a hard one. Uh, a country. Argentina. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think I think it depends. Yeah, I think so. Because you get both. You, mm. it's, you get you get the four seasons. You get everything. So it's um, oh, I have to say that. Okay. That's why so um, how often you've been talking to people on the street, or do people come to you and uh, spoke to you and say, "Hey, you are from Hammerfall. Can I take a picture with you? Or can I say, have an autograph, something like that?" How often it happened on the street? It, at, at home in Sweden, it happens a lot, uh, but I, th I think I end up, I put my hair up in a ponytail and I become a little bit uh, incognito. No, you know, no one recognizes me, just if they see like I'm coming, you know, outside the club or example, mm. of course they recognize me, but otherwise I'm not, I can disappear a little bit, but it depends, it happens. Quite often, so. So when you've got so many problems, you can take your hair in front of your face? Exactly. <laughs> no, no, normally, it happens sometimes that I'm, I'm out working and I'm standing talking to someone and they're like, I'm starting to talk about what band do you like? Uh, my favorite band is Hammerfall. And I'm like, oh, cool, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I play guitar there. No! <laughs> and then I have to let, let my hair out and like, ah, they get crazy. So yeah. it's, it's, it's funny. Okay. Hmm? It's quite it? nice, because then I can be like, no one sees me, and then... <laughs> so what is the craziest story together with a fan? Something happened specially, something? A crazy story with a fan? Oh. Yeah, I got almost hunted down in, a, in, in like a, a mall. But it was, it was, I think it was a daughter and a mother that was Hammerfall fans. That was in Germany, actually, uh -huh. on the last tour, and because I was a new guy, because mm -hmm. I came in the band last album, and I was like, they were shouting my name, and I was like, what the fuck? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> and I started, they screamed, someone was screaming my name, <clears throat> and I started to walk a little bit faster, just so, ah, I don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> but then they, they hunt me down. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, but they were cool, they just wanted to take some pictures. And, okay. Yeah. But that, that was, it's not much crazy stuff happened with fans. Mm. Actually, a girl fainted in front of me in, in Warsaw yeah. yesterday. That was quite, she was standing just in front of me and suddenly she's just, whap, she just fainted uh -huh. in the front and they had to lift her aside. Yeah. <laughs> and that's also like, it was a big pressure yesterday, so it was. Yeah, for, for you is a little bit new in Hammerfall, so that's what happens sometimes, you already said. So, um, let's come to an... Oh, I think a concert start. Yeah, concert uh, uh, which band is the first? Uh, death Destruction. Ah. And after Death Destruction is Amaranth, also Swedish. And then uh, if we turn the camera around here, we have the... Key, um, oh. Yeah, yeah, turn it around. Let, let's show him, let's show him. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, let's. So, the... Uh, the special guest support band is Vicious Rumors. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm doing fine. The, uh, the food was great, yes? I heard you talking about that. Yeah. I totally agree. Uh, nice place. Everybody's cool. Looking forward to the show? Oh, very much. Yeah, yeah. It's a great room. Yeah? Nice stage. Yeah. Have a good one. Hey, you too, Paul. Yes. <laughs> So, Let's vicious rumors. Okay. <laughs> take, take <them> <laughs> so, now it's happened. Nice <laughs> to meet you, Khaled. Hi, Nice to meet you. Um, you played uh, some time, uh, some um, weeks ago or some months ago here in Berlin, in Halford, really? 
Um, actually, I wasn't with the band then. Why? Um, <laughs> well, I just kind of came in on short notice. I was with Vicious Rumors about two years ago. Okay. Uh, or four years ago. For two years. Okay. What, is the, what is the feeling to play with Hammerfall on a tour? Oh, it's great. It's wonderful. The guys are really great. Um, they sound great. Looks great. Oh. Um, and, and everybody else on the tour as well. You know, Amaranth and um, Death Destruction. Yeah, it's a great, great trip. Okay, so you enjoy the time? Enjoy your beer? Okay. Thanks for the time. <laughs> We have to do the interview now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Nice meeting you. Bye-bye. Yeah, <laughs> so now we go back. Yeah. So now you know? You know all the facts? <laughs> yeah, the other guys go around here. So let's come to the last some questions. Um, I talked with uh, Joachim in Finland about his um, special uh, hobby that was uh, he wants to see some musicals. So he's a really big fan from musicals. Yes. What is uh, your uh, special yeah, type? What, what do you like? Uh, do you like also musicals or do you like more uh, watching concerts from other bands? Or, what is, or do you go to cinema? Or what is your... Uh, I, I, th I think if, if I want to do something, something different, oh, except for being on tour, mm. it's, um, I think, classical concerts. Yes. I like, yeah. And I like folk music, like Swedish folk music and mm. stuff. And so, and, and that's more relaxing for me. Even if the folk music can be very up tempo and stuff, I I really like the melodies and stuff. So, I do a lot of yeah. Try try to visit a lot of concerts. Mm. So, just in Sweden or also in other countries when you got the time? It's more or less, of course. If I'm you know in London and I or wherever Beijing, if I can watch the. Uh, Beijing Symphony Orchestra, of course, I would love to do it, but it, it ends up being because I'm home and I, the off time. I, I'm not traveling that much when I'm off. Um, when I have a vacation, we, we rather just go up to the cottage up in, in the woods somewhere with the family and stay there. So, no, I, I think classical music, that, that relaxes me a lot. So, okay. so let's come to London sometimes. Uh, sometimes now to the end <laughs> so that's right um, what types uh, tips you would like to give us for traveling um, I, I, I think a good tip for traveling is uh, don't pack everything you think you need because mm -hmm. you're not going to use it on the way always have a clean toothbrush And uh, a very the most unwritten, uh, unwritten rule is keep your feet clean mm -hmm. when you, when you're traveling a lot in music. So, so that's good tips, I think. Don't miss it. So, um, do you sending postcards or do you uh, are on the modern way and sending mails from the country you are in? It's normally mail and Skype and Viber nowadays. So yeah, I keep contact with all my friends at home via Skype, Viber, or yeah. yeah. So you don't use postcards the typical way? Nah, not anymore. So, okay. so now last question for me, and um, that's a little bit special because I want to know which gift you bring us, uh, bring uh, you back from the country you're in, or do you don't bring some souvenirs? It depends. I, I have. I've had a um, souvenir thing with coffee cups where it says like Paris or Berlin and oh. stuff like that. That was before, but um, I built my studio and I brought all the cups there and it ended up to be like 80 cups or something in that box that I've been, yeah. you know, <laughs> collecting for a couple of years because I couldn't put them up at home because yeah. there was too many. So I stopped, but that was my thing. I brought home a, like a souvenir as a, a nice cup, tea or, but quite big coffee cups. Yeah. Or, so that was a weird thing doing, <laughs> but <laughs> it was funny. Yeah. Sounds nice. Pontus, yeah. that was all for me. Uh, thank you for the time and hope you like the questions. Yes. And the last words are from you, for the fans, for the youth, for the watchers. The microphone is yours. Yes, and I have to say, uh, you will miss something if you hear about this Berlin show and you're not there, you're going to regret it. See you next time. Thank you very much. Thank you.